fabulous piece of software that you can use for manipulating structures, looking at structures, making out fabulous images of them, etc. And you can find it here, just Google PyMol, there we go, and then click on here, buy a license, and click on the student teach one, and that allows you to get a education use license uh, yourself. So you can either do that, or I will provide you the login details on a uh, on the Canvas page. Right, so once you've downloaded uh, PyMol, you'll, and you'll look, see something that looks like this. Right. And the first thing we need to do is to load a structure from the Protein Data Bank into this bit of software. Now, there's a couple of ways of doing that. Uh, well, let's find the protein we want. Now, if you remember here, we when we when we before we typed in a name of a protein. See, so last time we looked at catalase, we're going to look at another protein called bacteria rhodopsin this time, and and once again we've got a whole host of different structures. Now, all these structures, they all have numbers associated with them. And these are unique numbers associated with that particular structure. And we're going to take a look at this one here, 1C3W. Now, a few things we want to look at. We need to make, make note of some things that are in the abstract there and in the paper. I want you to carry on, scroll down, make note, notice that we've got several different molecules, more molecules associated with the protein in this structure. And uh, just remember that number. So the simplest way to load a structure into PyMol is just to make a note of that number here. Go back to your PyMol, go back to your PyMol screen and then type in here fetch 1C3W. And there you go. And it has now gone straight to the protein data bank and downloaded the structure directly from the protein data bank into PyMol. Now what we see here then, we've got these nice alpha helices and so on, we've got these things over here which are those other ligands and structures associated with it, we've got these dots here, now these are water molecules and um, it's all a bit green, it's all a bit dull at the minute so we want to spend a bit of time making this look a bit prettier. Now, one of the first thing one I'd like to do is you want to go up here and I need you to go to display and turn on sequence. Now we've got this window that's appeared up here and this shows you the amino acid sequence of the protein. So you can scroll through there. And then we've also got all of these which are the different ligands and the different other molecules associated with them and then these red ones down here are all the water molecules right well now i also want you to take a look at what's down here in the bottom right hand corner what we've got are uh, something down here that's particularly important that you can click on this clicks to and it scrolls through as you click on it objects molecules and so on now this allows you to select what you're going to select with the mouse button. So for example, if I click on objects, I click on something here, everything gets selected because this is a, this as far as PyMol concerned is one object. Now we could alternatively click on molecules. So click off to deselect and then click on that one. And now it's just selected that particular molecule. Right. Now you can you can select these molecules by clicking on them on the 3D representation, but that can actually be a bit tricky sometimes because if it's a bit crowded around there and you miss, you might get the wrong molecule. So a simpler way to do it is actually to use the sequence is up the top here. So for example, if I just want this particular part, I click on there, ooh, that one even, and now just that molecule there has been selected right oh quick thing about how to control your image so you can use if you click with your left left mouse button you can rotate the image round about if you click with your right mouse button and move up and down you can zoom you can you can zoom in and out and then you 
if you've got a scroll button this is this allows you to slice through the image as well so this is particularly useful if you've got stuff in the foreground you want to get rid of what you can do is is uh, scroll down find the right slice that you want and you remove stuff in the, in the foreground so for example if we just want to look at this this molecule here there we go right now you can also if you click to the right or left of the image you can twist it as well and use the left mouse button to twist so those are the main controls right now if you get lost if you lose your molecule or whatever or you've got it in orientation you don't like you can click up here to orientate or reset and that will bring everything back to the, the middle again so have a bit of a play with with those controls have a bit of a play with the with just moving it around clicking through what you what you can select and seeing what seeing what happens when you click on the various molecules and i'll get back to you with the next step soon